This week on The Wire, housing markets avoid price falls, Aussies plan to celebrate, and first home buyers eager to buy. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's get into our top story for the week, housing markets avoid price falls. So property experts say the federal government's economic rescue package of $200 billion and the mortgage repayment holiday offered by the banks will help prevent property price falls over the next six months. Now, AMP Capital a Chief Economist Shane Oliver, uh, Shane Oliver, I should say, says the government's stimulus measures and support from the banks will help prevent forced home sales by homeowners who may have lost their jobs or, their redu or have reduced incomes. The fact that most households are ahead on their mortgage repayments is another positive factor in preventing such sales. CoreLogic's research director, Tim Lawless, says the property market is being insulated by these measures from a downturn over the next six months. It helps that most Australian housing markets were into an upswing phase of the cycle when the virus hit, he says, and that the disruption is only temporary. Now, Robert Miller, executive chairman of BIS Oxford Economics, says the current record low interest rates would also provide some cushion to homeowners, at least in the near term. Interest rates are set to stay low for at least the next two years, so loan repayments will stay low, he said. And now for our next story. Aussies plan to celebrate. So Australians plan to spend on food, entertainment and holidays when the lockdown restrictions are lifted. Results from surveys run by CT Group, formerly Crosby Texter, show Australians plan to direct their money to spending time with family and friends after the pandemic. Asked what they intended to spend on, other than necessities, once the virus passed, 44% of the surveyed Australians said they were going to visit restaurants and cafes. 42% plan to book domestic holidays, 22% were looking at international holidays, and 23% were gonna spend on out-of-home entertainment, such as cinema or theatre tickets. CT Group Managing Director of Research and Campaigns, Catherine Douglas, says it suggests that people want to spend more time together and get back to what matters rather than spend money on more extravagant experiences. People will holiday differently, looking for basics rather than, rather than uh, luxury experiences, she says. And now, guys, for our final story of the week, first home buyers eager to buy. So real estate agents across the nation are reporting a surge in interest from first home buyers. Many first home buyers with secure jobs who have spent months looking for a property and missed out at auctions during the recent market rebound are redoubling their efforts to find quality homes. Auctioneer Thomas McGlynn says entry level buyers and young families have been the most active. Now, President of Real Estate Buyers Agents Association of Australia, Kate Backos, says young buyers who are confident in their jobs are taking advantage of the high government assistance for first home buyers. First home buyer inquiries in Canberra rose 56% in March when compared to March 2019, and that's according to realestate.com.au. The second most active first timer market is Brisbane, which in March sustained an increase in inquiries of 12% year on year. The Sydney and Adelaide markets increased 4% and 3% respectively, and state stamp duty concessions have been an influencing factor as well, as the federal government support scheme, which launched on the 1st of January. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series and if you wanna submit a question or if there is a topic you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot and see ya.